Yeah! Who is this man? How, how? Who let him in here? Yeah, I got rid of the beard and I got a haircut. It's not the best haircut I've ever gotten, actually. It keeps wanting to, like, come out in the back. There was just too much of it. Hair, that is, on my head region. Just like how in today's episode, we have too much tech news. So, better get to it. The 3D tracking company Leap Motion has brought their Orion hand tracking system to mobile VR headsets. Now there have been various ways to combine a Leap Motion hand tracker with VR for a while now, but they all required some technical expertise. The company's new mobile VR friendly Orion modules could be added to low end VR headsets for around a $10 premium and would be pretty easy to attach. The prototype Leap Motion is showing off slots into the front of a Samsung Gear VR, so soon you'll be able to enter a compelling alternate reality to escape your real problems and maybe live there forever for less. After more than a year of rumors about its Project Titan car project, Apple has actually confirmed it's working on self-driving car technology. In a letter to the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the company said it's investing heavily in machine learning and automation, including in the area of transportation. The letter goes on to talk about automated vehicles in detail. Now this doesn't mean an Apple car is confirmed. Apple could just be working on autonomous car tech that it would license to other manufacturers. And we also shouldn't get too excited, for all we know, they might remove the fuel charging port to save space. <laughs> oh! <laughs> And two AI initiatives, Google's DeepMind and Elon Musk's OpenAI, announced they were both releasing AI training simulation tools available now to the public. DeepMind is publishing the source code for DeepMind Lab, a maze-like environment that AI agents can be tested on and compared to Google's own AIs. Meanwhile, OpenAI actually released a similar tool called OpenAI Gym back in April, but today it released the Universe interface for said tool. Universe allows AI agents to use a computer like a human does, by looking at a virtual screen and using a virtual keyboard and mouse. And it's kind of creepy. I thought this video was a recording of a human player. Nope! Turns out it's a robot, and none of us are safe anymore. Or we're about to be safer than ever. Against our will. It's time for that part of the episode called Quirkberts. Amazon has opened Amazon Go, a grocery store in Seattle that lets you tap in to enter, select your items, and then leave without checking out. Everything having been sorted out by a complex system of machine learning, lots of sensors, and pulleys and levers. I imagine. Reviewers for Intel's KB Lake i7-7700K processor are kind of all over the web right now, but it's over a month away from launching, so we'll wait until the official numbers. Reviews for the Oculus Touch controllers are also up, but those are more legit since they officially launch tomorrow. Consensus seems to be that they're a no-brainer for any Oculus Rift owner. A bunch of new games were announced over the weekend, including MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, the first single-player content for the franchise since 2002, The Last of Us Part 2, featuring a badass older guitar player. Ellie, and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite with many Hadoukens. Lots of them. And Google released an app called Trusted Contacts, which lets you send your location to Trusted Contacts and ask for others' location. It's designed for emergency situations, so if someone asks where you are, you have five minutes to respond, or the app automatically tells them. So you've kind of got to either value your life in the event of an emergency, or your privacy to avoid some awkward moments. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Hey, Sacrifar 12's friend! Happy birthday in a few hours. Pacific time, at least. You are also my favorite friend of Sacrifar 12's. Hey, guess what? We got a bunch of giveaways going on, in case you forgot. Our big Black Friday X1 million giveaway is still going on until December 15th. We're hiding QR codes in every Netlink Daily episode. There's a total of 20... <laughs> That's not right. And if you find them and enter them at the contest page, you're entered to win an NCIX Tech Tips customized NCIX PC or a bunch of our new limited edition apparel. That's fancy talk for clothes. And also on the NCIX Facebook page, you can enter to win a bunch of other stuff like a PlayStation 4, Microsoft Surface Pro 4, or a HyperX Fury 240 gigabyte SSD. Really exciting stuff. Click the button up in the corner there to get all the details after you found today's QR code, that is.
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for the previous video in Netlink Daily and check us out on Twitter over here. That's our handles. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go work on growing out some stubble because my face is freezing. It literally just snowed here this morning, so that's the worst timing.